आई ऑल हाउ आर यू कैसे हैं बेटा आप लोग आज फिर हम लोग नक्शेबाजी करने जा रहे हैं राइट एक और वीडियो इलेवेंथ वीडियो वी आर अगेन बैक कीपिंग द सेम थीम्स अलाइव taking the same uh, uh, wonderful chronological journey that we have been undergoing right and uh, aaj ka jo topic hai jiske ird gird hum log naqshebazi karne ja rahe hain wo hai bete uh, the turkish invasions this is where i will start talking about the turkish invasions which happened right uh, in in north india i will start talking about uh, Uh, that phase of our history we will be dealing with the uh, uh, the developments of ghaznavid time period and uh, see what are the important informations which we must keep in mind okay so uh, without much delay let's proceed this is the map of afghanistan uh, on that story of nearly everything which we do right uh, there is a two part series on afghanistan available do have a look at it it will help you in understanding whatever is going on in this uh, northwestern part of the subcontinent right so this is uh, you know the provinces of uh, uh, your uh, 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 afghanistan the provinces of afghanistan i just want you guys to notice a few names and then we can proceed uh, ghazni kandahar zabul this is somewhere around here is jalalabad kabul kabul is seven right so these are some of the important areas that you should this is hur and uh, this is ghazni okay so kabul kandahar and zabul this is zabul or zabul two spellings are typically found they were considered part of the al hind they were considered part of the al hind till around 900 ce right the hindu shahis they were controlling this region okay uh, they held power in peshawar and punjab as well their capital was vai hind also known as udbhand in those times they were called as guardians of uh, hyber hindu shahis right initially they were buddhist now uh, as the caliphate as the caliphate started declining in around 900 ce independent emirates and sultanates started emerging for us the most important are the samanids the samanids right the samanids uh, they were the ones who established a very nice huge empire okay and uh, they were the ones who started employing the turkish mamluks or mercenaries in their armies they got uh, converted to islam and they became ghazis right and uh, the samanid emirate it started declining as the 10th century progressed the samanids they started declining and in this uh, kind of a political vacuum those turkish mamluks they became uh, king makers they became gradually autonomous one of them his name was alp tajim he established the city of uh, ghazna alpatjin he was a turkish right and uh, they took over the task of defending islam against the central asian tribes just like you know they themselves were a tribe so they said we will defend islam from people others other people like us the turkish tribes right alpatjin was succeeded by his uh, slave his own mamluk and uh, son in law known as sabuk to jin right sabuk to jin is the person who started uh, targeting the hindu shahis he started targeting the hindu shahis 
and this Subukta gene had a son whose name was Mahmud of Ghazna or Mahmud of Ghazni who rules from 998 to 1030. Right? This is the time period around which we are going to be focusing today. See, this is the Ghaznavide Empire. These are the Shahis present here. The Hindu Shahi rulers. The person ruling the Hindu Shahis at this point of time was Jaipal. Right? This is uh, a Jaipal. Subukta Jin, uh, he captured Kabul. Jalalabad, this region, he defeated basically, uh, you know, Jaipal in 991. Subuktuji Mahmud's dad. He defeated Jaipal and annexed Kabul and Jalalabad region. In 998, Mahmud comes to the throne. This time, Jaipal believes that he can uh, beat the Ghaznavids and he invades the Ghazni. But he's defeated again. He's defeated again. Right? Uh, this is 1001. No Rajput rulers came for help. He got help from uh, Muslim rulers of Multan. Right? And Jaipal was uh, defeated. He, he got defeated, Jaipal. And uh, Mahmud. Right? He captured territory even west of Indus, including Khyber Pass. So this very strategically important area, it came to the hands of uh, your uh, Turks. Jaipal, he was so embarrassed by this defeat that he immolated himself. His son Anandpal came to the throne of the Hindu Shahis. He also challenged he also challenged, uh, you know, he tried to create some kind of a coalition, but again, Rajputs were not there. It was the Muslim rulers of Murtan who came to help. And uh, in 1009, Anandpal was also defeated. By 1015, they captured Lahore, Multan. They have crossed Indus. Kashmir stayed out of their control. Kashmir under Lohar dynasty. Famous queen Didda. Yahi ki hai, right? So, you know, Kashmir stayed independent. They grow. Lahore captured Karliya. Multan, Lahore, all this region was captured. And from Lahore and Multan, now this guy was uh, placed to continuously raid North India. He raided 17 times with brutal ferociousness. He came to be known as Bhutshikan because he would break all these uh, temple idols, he would destroy them. He raided Kannauj and Mathura, Somnath. They go Kannauj kaha hai? I'll show you. This is Kannauj. Right? This is Mathura. Somnath is in Gujarat, coast, Patan. That region, Anilwara. Went to uh, Kalinjar as well. Kalinjar is in Baghelkhand. Baghelkhand, Banda, this district. This is Kalinjar. This is Bundel Khand region, this entire. The green one is in MP, the blue one is in UP. Right? And uh, this is basically a princely state which was existing. Uh, Bundel Khand and Baghel Khand. So Bundel Khand se thoda niche Baghel Khand hai. In Baghel Khand, there is a district called as Banda. There is a place called as Kalinjar. So he raided Kalinjar as well and destroyed all the temples wherever he went and looted millions and millions of gold pieces. And he took all this back to uh, Ghazni. He took all this back to Ghazni. And uh, 
uh, uh, you know, created a huge and very uh, sophisticated culture in his city. Afghanistan reveres him as a national hero. Right? Afghanistan reveres him, Sultan Mahmud Ghaznavi. And in fact, culturally as well, he played a very interesting part. Right? He patronized Firdausi, the guy who wrote Shahnama. He also patronized Ibn Battuta. No, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mafi Chahonga. He also patronized Al Beruni. Al Beruni came to India with Ghazni, Mahmud of Ghazni. Right? Uh, and the Turks, this is another point which I would like to make here. The Turks, because they were coming from a very tribal background, something which was, you know, society which was not having very uh, uh, sophisticated art, culture, or religion. So they not only picked up Islam, but they also picked up the culture, the Arabo Persian culture of Islam. They brought that to India as well. They are getting influenced not only by Islam, but also by the dominant culture, high culture of the region, which is Arabo-Persian. This is his uh, dominance. Entire Afghanistan, Lahore, completely almost Pakistan as well, do you see? Then Tehran, he's just not limited to Afghanistan, he's going all the places. Here, notice. Transoxiana. Summer Kand ke paas tak pahunch rahe hai ye. Balkh. This was Ghaznavide Empire in 975 to 1187. Ek hazar mein he dies. But the Turks were not able to expand in a big way any uh, you know time soon. There so Sal Kelly, the Turks were there only now. They were not able to expand after Mahmud. This is the Somnath temple, the temple in question, which was uh, destroyed and looted by uh, this fellow, Mahmud of uh, Ghazni. This is uh, Al Bayruni, by the way. This is not Mahmud, right? This is Al Bayruni. And uh, this is the Somnath temple which was destroyed. It was rebuilt uh, a couple of times actually. Uh, in the modern times, it was rebuilt in 1948, 49, 50. Right? Uh, uh, when Vallabhai Patel, he said so. Right? So. Ghazni, Mahmud of Ghazni should not be dismissed as a plunderer or uh, just a lutera. Right? He actually achieved something which was very important. He achieved the Khyber Pass, he achieved Lahore, Multan region and he brought all this region into Turkish hands. From where Islam can make the next wave of uh, expansion. Right? But as I was telling you, Turks couldn't advance. The Turks were not able to advance for next 150 years. Why? Two reasons primarily. One, they got involved into Central Asian political struggle with Seljuk Turks. And secondly, in North, Chauhans and Gaidawals, they became strong. I'll show you through maps. They could. Uh, this yellow region is the empire of Seljuk Turks. So Seljuk Turks, they are also Turks. They kick out Ghazni. They kick out the Ghazni empire gradually from Central Asian politics. Right? Seljuks managed to capture the entire Khorasan and this region. This region, right? Khorasan and all. They managed to capture it. And uh, son of Mahmud was defeated. Son of Mahmud was defeated in 1040 itself. Just 10 years after the death of uh, Mahmud. By the Seljuks. And this chap, Masood, he fled to Lahore. 
So now the Ghaznavid Empire shrank. It was only controlling Ghazni and Lahore, Punjab region. That's all. It was not such a massive empire with which Indian fragmented rulers couldn't, uh, you know, tackle. They just became one of the other powers. And Chauhans dominated the region. Gahdawals dominated the region. The Rajputs. Jinki baat hum log kar chuke hain. Right? Uh, they were no longer a threat now. They kept on raiding, they kept on uh, making incursions into uh, the subcontinent, into the, you know, into the Gangetic Valley as well. But uh, nothing substantial came out of all those raids. There is one piece of information which I would like to definitely discuss with you. This uh, stamp was recently, in 2018, it was released. This stamp is of uh, Maharaja Suhail Dev. He was king of Shravasti near Nepal border. And according to a source which is called as the Mirat e Masudi, right? This chap, Suhail Dev, he defeated and killed Ghazi Sayyid Salar Masood. In 1034. Who is this Salar Masood? He is a Ghazi, a warrior, and some people also consider him a saint. So he was killed in Shavasti by Suhail Dev. One point which I would like you to remember. Do you see? They were raiding right into the heart of Gangetic Plains. But they were not able to hold back. They were not strong enough to hold on to an area. So this nephew of Mahmud, who is called as Masood, Ghazi Sayyid Salar Masood, he was killed in 1034 by this chap. According to Mirat e Masoodi. And Chauhans and Gehdawars, as I was telling you, right? Chauhans of Ajmer and Delhi, and Gehdawals of Kannauj were able to resist. Okay. This is the scenario. This is precisely the scenario in which now the Gurids will enter and they will establish the Gurid Empire. Right? We will talk about all that in one of the next episodes right for the time being this is all from my side signing off keep having fun bye